I've got another fascinating geometry problem for you. In this one, we've got this semicircle, and it's sitting on the base of this right triangle. And we know this angle is 30 degrees. And we also know that this segment down here is 1. And this segment up here is 2 times radical 3. And we're asked to find the area of this turquoise region. If you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now. Let this point O be the center of the semicircle. Let's draw a radius here, and we'll call it R. And we'll draw another radius here, and here. It turns out these two line segments are equal. So we've got an isosceles triangle here, which means these two angles are also equal. And this angle is 30 degrees. And we can figure out that the third angle has to be 120 degrees. Now, I'm gonna show you a super handy trick formula called the law of cosines. Let's say this triangle has this angle alpha. And the side opposite the angle alpha is A. And the adjacent sides are B and C. According to the law of cosines, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cosine alpha. Well, this is our triangle and this is the side we want to find. So let's name it a. Then alpha would be this 120 degree angle. So let's put that into the formula. Cosine 120 has a well known value that is minus 1 over 2. Side b is r and side c is r2. So let's replace the b's and c's in the formula with r. Minus 2r squared times minus 1 over 2 is plus r squared. We can add these three and we get a squared equals 3r squared, which means a equals radical 3 times r. So let's change this a to radical 3 times r. It's now time to take a look at this big triangle. It's a right triangle and it's got a 30 degree angle. That means we can use cosine 30 to find its side lengths. Cosine of an angle is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. The adjacent side is the shorter side that is next to the angle. This angle's adjacent side is this, and it's got a total length of 2r plus 1. So let's put that in our equation. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. And this is the longest side in our triangle. And its total length is this. So let's also move this onto our formula. Cosine 30 has a well-known fixed value, and it's radical 3 over 2. Now we can cross multiply all of this stuff, and we get this. Let's open this bracket first. Radical 3 times radical 3r is 3r. And radical 3 times 2 times radical 3 is 3 times 2, which equals 6. And this part simply becomes this. Now, let's take this 3r to the other side, where it becomes minus 3r. And these two add up to 1r. And we'll also take this plus 2 to this side, and it becomes minus. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So we've got r equals 4. Let's move this super important finding up here. And let's change this r to 4. And this segment is 4 as well. This is the area we want to find. And this shape actually has a name. It's called a circular segment. So let its area be area S because it's a segment. And we'll call this triangle's area area T because it's a triangle. Now area T and area S add up to this weird shape which is known as a circular sector. We can put that as an equation like this. Next we'll use a formula to find the area of the sector. And it equals pi times r squared times theta over 360 degrees. We already know that r is 4, so let's put that value into our formula. And we get 16. And this theta is the sector's angle. And this sector's angle is 120. So we replace this theta with that. And we get 1 over 3 here. And the area of the sector turns out to be 16 pi over 3. Next, let's find area t. It's a triangle, but we don't know its height. So we'll use the super exciting sign rule for a triangle's area. And my son says he can do it. I hope this is not too hard for you, son. Go ahead. Hi, people. These A and B are two sides of the triangle. And we'll use these two sides. And they are both 4. So A times B becomes 4 times 4. And it becomes 16. We divided by 2. It becomes 8. And theta is the angle between these two sides. It's 120 degrees. Sine theta becomes sine 120. Dad, I don't know sine 120. It's radical 3 over 2. You're doing great. We multiply these two and it's 4 times radical 3. Thank you, professor. Let's move this piece of information to here. Next, we'll use this equation. We know area of the sector equals area T plus area S. Now we can take this area T and move it to the left hand side and it gets a minus sign. Area of the sector is this. So let's put that value here. And area T is this. 
So let's also put that value into the equation. And we get the answer to our problem. The area of the turquoise region is 16 pi over 3, minus 4 times radical 3. So that's it people, we found the area we needed to find. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you push the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And excuse me for this super ugly green result box I made. I'll do better next time. Have a good day and see you soon.